What's going on ladies and gentlemen? If you are watching this video, then that means you're either considering purchasing Cabinet Vision or you've already purchased Cabinet Vision. In which case, congratulations. We're super excited for you, me especially, because my name is Spencer Baker and I am a sales rep for Cabinet Vision, an avid woodworker, and the head of this page, Cabinet Vision Made Simple, the page dedicated entirely to making your transition into this world so much simpler. If you're in the market for Cabinet Vision and you haven't found your rep yet, you can always go to nexus.hexagon.com where you can select information to contact your sales rep, specifically on the Cabinet Vision side. You'll contact your sales rep, you'll hit first name, last name, job title, company, give us all the information you can so that they can send it to the sales rep for your territory so you guys can kind of start that process of demoing the software or test driving it or just answering any questions that you might have. Once you've gotten to that part and you've purchased the software, you're probably wondering what the next steps are. You'll receive some emails from a customer service rep that gives you a play-by-play -play on what you need, but the first thing you're going to want to do is go to our customer portal so that you can get access to the software itself. Once you come to this page, you'll be asked to either create a new account or just sign in. Uh, since I've already got my username set up, I'm gonna hit log in. Once you get to this page, you've got a couple of great resources for your availability. Specifically, where you can open tech support cases is right here. But for our use right now, we're gonna go to downloads and then software. Under software, it will give you access to the Cabinet Vision downloads. You'll select right here. And then you'll have the most recent four builds of the software. So for me right now, 2024, 23, 22, and 21. I've already got 24 downloaded, but I only have 24.1 downloaded. So since I've got a new build that I can download that has some uh, possibly additional bug fixes, maybe some updated packages, I'm gonna wanna download that because I know that it's available. So we will scroll down here to primary setup, and that is the one that I'm gonna wanna click. If you want it in Spanish, you can click the language pack but primary setup is specifically the one that I'm looking for. Once I click download, it will pop right up and start downloading the file. Now the file is gonna be four gigs and I've already got it downloaded, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit X on that. But it's gonna be a pretty big file. So in the meantime, while that's downloading, let's see about getting you set up in the Nexus platform so that you can access eSupport. eSupport is our online forum for Cabinet Vision users. It's monitored by the developers, our tech team, as well as a bunch of other power users of the software who can answer questions for you as you're moving into this process. So in order to access that, you'll wanna to go to nexus.hexagon.com. And once that comes in, you'll either register for Nexus with your email address, or you'll just click start, and you'll be able to log in directly using the credentials you've already set up. So for me, I've already set up those credentials, so I'm gonna hit continue. So upon signing in, I can look at my products over here on the right. Since it's tied to my email address, it should say Cabinet Vision right here on the side. So I'll go ahead and click Cabinet Vision, and it will move me to the specific page for that product. Here I can find all kinds of different news and updates and frequently asked questions, but more specifically what I'm looking for down here at the bottom is the community forums. I can either access it down here or over to the left where I click Tech Center and then Community. So I'll click that, give it about five to 10 seconds for the system to sign you in again. You won't have to do it by yourself. It should do it automatically just like that. And then I'll click Cabinet Vision one more time. And now I am in the community forums for Cabinet Vision. So here you can scroll through all of the additional questions that people have asked. You can ask questions of your own up here at the top or you can scroll up to the news section, the forums, the videos, the files, or the knowledge base. Files is a place where you can go to find partner catalogs or possibly some additional textures. Maybe you want some new appliances in your catalog on the software that you don't have access to right now. All of that can be found in the file section here. But since I'm also looking for additional things for new users, one of the most important things is the knowledge base. So here in the new user's guide, you can find all kinds of tips and tricks for specifically people who are just starting out. 
So how to create new construction methods, how to figure out how to use the bidding center, all these different things are available to you and you can click your way through them. They've also got common problems and fixes for those problems. All of this is designed so that you can speed up this process and you don't have to rely on tech support for every answer. You'll be able to look through this, kind of teach yourself along the way. But of course, if you come across questions that you don't know, you can reach out to tech support or you can reach out to your sales rep who helped sell you the software. But that's the eSupport forum. And now we can go back to our download file. Once you go to your downloads and the file is officially on there, you'll be able to just double click that and it will take you through a license installation process. So I'll click yes to set up changes, hit yes to the files. It'll move you through this entire process. You'll just install like normal. And then when the time comes, it will ask if you want to install a standalone license or a network license. In this case, I'm gonna assume you're on a standalone license, meaning it's just one license all by itself. You're not tied to a server or anything like that. In your email, you should have something that looks like this. It says hexagon delivery note for whatever the name of your account is. And then you'll have a server code. Once it asks for the server code, this is specifically where you'll find that. You can just copy and paste that directly in. And from there, it'll ask you to restart your computer and then you should be good to go. If you have additional questions at any point, feel free to reach out to your sales rep, contact tech support, or you can always pop me a line in the chat down below. I'm happy to help at any point, and I hope that this video was helpful. Thank you.